Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whichever great part of this planet you're residing in, welcome to my channel. My name is Nelson. You're watching Nature Nell. And if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. It helps me greatly to bring you guys episodes like this one today, which I am sacrificing my body in this crazy heat. I literally just walked out and I'm already sweating. It's like in the 90s. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. We're going to take a fun field trip to my favorite neighborhood orchid festival, Ophi's Orchid and Plant Sale. Today is their main summer sale, which I heard yesterday, Saturday, they had a great turnout. I'm super happy about that. But today we're going to take a little road trip there and also RF orchids. I'm meeting my good friend Natalia there from Just One More Orchid. And we're going to see how much fun we have today. <laughs> I'm flying solo. You don't see Terry here. She's out and about today. She won't be able to come, but I will have Natalia as my co-host on my channel and I'll be the co-host on her channel. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go look at some amazing blooms. See you when I get there. All right, guys, we made it here and it's early, early. Everybody's starting to set up, which is my favorite thing. And there's Carlos. You can tell the wife is around. Good morning. Because he's carrying the stuff. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was a low shot. <laughs> All right. Um, let's start here. I know exactly whose booth this is without seeing the person. Best we could... part of the morning. Oh, that is the best part of the morning. <laughs> You're teasing me. I'm filming. Don't show me that now. <laughs> one left like this. They only have one left? Tell them to hold on. Okay, let me let me stop this. Sorry guys, chocolate donuts and me. It just I it comes first. <laughs> and I did get the last one. Now when that sugar hits, I'm gonna be having a great time showing you these flowers. So right here we are at the one and only Cruel Smith, which is one of my favorite, favorite orchids around. They have, I mean, here, let, let me just show you. I don't have to tell you. Look at that beauty. The quality of their flowers, the strength of their plants, I got to tell you, are very, very healthy. The colors, the variety that they have is just amazing. Now, I was talking with Natalia yesterday, and she and I were talking about how, you know, we YouTubers, we tend to touch flowers, right? I've been trying my very best not to do that. What happens is when they face down, I have to hold it to show you. But what I'm gonna do is from now on, I spoke to Julian from Pearl Smith, and he told me if you need to pick a flower up to show the proper way of doing it, and I'm looking for one that's looking down. Okay, here, let's get this one. You grab your two fingers, you go to the stem back here, and you lift up. You don't touch the petals. So what you're doing is you're touching only the stem and that's not gonna bother the flower in any way, shape, or form. So that was some, a good lesson to learn. Because, you know, we're, we're YouTubers, guys. We're not these professional orchid people that know everything. We learn as we go. And even though I've been doing this for many years, I still have a lot to learn. And that was one of the things that Natalia and I were talking about. We we're saying, you know, we need to practice more on not touching, you know, the flowers themselves. So I'm going to try my very best. <laughs> Look at these guys. How gorgeous. Pink seems to be like the color right now. Um, happening in the summer with a lot of orchids. I'm seeing a lot of pink. Now, I did tell you guys last time that I was going to be limited on the tagging. If I don't see the tag and it's not um, loose from the pot, I am not going to attempt to take it because it's been several times that I've taken a tag out and I've broken it. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I feel so professional now. <laughs> what a beautiful flower. I think this is what they call tigrinus mix or something no hold on you know the f iphones and their focusing problems <laughs> they don't go away <laughs> oh it feels weird not having terry here nobody's here actually none of my none of my crew people are here oh look at this how gorgeous that is so pretty that cranberry and yellow Look at the little novelty fowls, which by the way, I will be going right after this. I'll be meeting um, Natalia, as I said. 
And um, these are Bellinas guys, by the way. Um, I know what it is, so I, I have to remind myself, I have to tell you guys what it is, because not everybody knows what a Bellina looks like. Oh my God, these are gorgeous. I love novelty fowls. Melissa from Melissa Loves Orchids, she's so into them now. She's going through that phase, which by the way, for you orchid <laughs> enthusiasts and lovers, <laughs> if you're just starting, it will be very normal for you to go through stages, right? When you're collecting orchids, you'll probably be going through bubble film stages like this one right here, which I've been on my bubble film stage for a while now, has not gone away. <laughs> this is really pretty actually. What is this? A Marv Raggin? Bulbophyllum Marv Raggin. I have not heard of this. Over at Crow Smith, they have a lot of new crosses that are that are out for sale. So you guys should take a look on their website because they really do, um, they really are specialists at crossing Bulbophyllums. They have very cool stuff. Look at that color. What is that? Cranberry and yellers. What are you? Cranberry and yellow man. Fascinator. Cross uh -huh. with a Anandelii. Okay, when you guys see a tag like this that shows the cross, but there's no name to this, this means this cross is probably not um, registered yet uh, with a name. So let's say if you were to buy this right now, I'll Let's say if I bought this right here. Hold on, let me pull away. It's hard to do this with only two hands. Let's say you buy this, right? And you, you put it in the AOS to uh, compete. And now this wins an AOS award. Let's say it, it wins an FCC. Now you can name that orchid whatever you like. So this is something to encourage you guys to enter orchids in, a, in the AOS. Because you never know, you may be able to name your own orchid. Plus, it gets you to to learn and enjoy the all oh, that cymbidium. Enjoy the uh, competitions of orchids or awarding orchids. This is so pretty. This is what they call a catacetum. It's one of my favorite of the orchid world because it's one of the most different ones. Uh, like I said, it won't come out. I will not force it to come out. Yeah, when they're stuck in there, I'm not gonna insist. And here are the mini fowls. As you know, I've been collecting. Oh, mama, come here. I wanted to see them tossed on the side. I've been collecting some really cool. This looks like it has Erides in it. Really cool minis and putting them all in on. Oh, it has Vietnamica. That's what it is. Vietnamica stylus. So these little minis that are all crosses, starting to rain. I've been collecting some and putting them on my tamarind wood that I, I created like a sculpture of tamarind wood. And I put them there and I gotta tell you, they are loving it. And when they all bloom at the same time, it's just beautiful. Look at this. This has to have verities in it. It just has to. I know it has it. It has to have it, cause look, this like this see that little thing right there through my oh but it's not curled in maybe that's why it's not Arides. that's why it's probably the economica i'm gonna have to ask julian about that all right let's go here by the bananas i'm gonna try to stay under the tents because it is raining a little bit these beautiful orange mini vandas a species and it's called a Vanda Garai Garai or Garai. <laughs> These are 55 each, which is a great deal for something so uh, colorful and so bright. You don't see that type of bright orange in many in many orchids. Now here I have my light on so the Brasavolas. Always a fan favorite. People love this. And this flower is a night bloomer. So when you smell that flower at night, it just 
hypnotizes you. <laughs> it's very pretty. I mean, those colors in there, the way nature just plays with color and patterns and shapes, really breathtaking. That's a real pretty one too. Oh, look at this insignia. How oh, pretty. It's like a brownish red. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's go over next door. Let me see if they have anything else that I can show you before I head on to nature's tapestry. <gasps> I love these guys. They had a bunch of these last time. Look at that color. Hayden uh, from Curlsmith, he, he's the one that usually comes to these shows. He loaded all these up last time. It was an area of all these. They were so beautiful. There's another one there. But look at those colors. Okay. This is calling my attention for 55 bucks. <sighs> this is Arides Halu. Halu Holutiana. <laughs> I don't know why I always have trouble with that name. Holutiana. Holutiana. Isn't that pretty? Now I have the Alba, which is this, but in like a yellowy white. And they have mm, a very lemony. Lemon Pledge. If you guys have ever cleaned with Lemon Pledge, that's what this smells like. All right. Now we're going to switch it up a bit from orchids to aeroids philodendrons ah, and all of the above when it comes to beautiful green plants like these nature's tapestry has been the the source of these plants for Ophis for a long long time for the fairs and they always bring really cool things that um you've never seen before or at least i've never seen before Variegated ginger, or should I say, uh, these are haliconias, right? Are these called haliconias? I yes. always, they are. This is That's the lady dye, and the other one is indica. Oh, this is lady dye, which is indica? The, the bread, the oh, this one? Yeah. Beautiful, it looks like a banana, banana leaf. How pretty. And I love the fact that they're doing a lot of variegation, variegated uh, plants. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, look at these. I got these at home. These are the what they call the Mickey Mouse ears. Bird's nest. Oh my God, look at this, guys. A variegated palm leaf. Have you ever seen something like this? How beautiful is that? See what I mean? You don't commonly see stuff like this. Mm. Bromeliads. Down here in Florida, bromeliads do so well. You can literally just throw it on your ground, not pay attention to it, <laughs> and it'll take off. See, more variegation. Look at this. You know what this is, guys? This is a sea grape. You see these in Florida. It is a great type of grape and you can eat it, it is edible. I'm not very fond of it, but normally the leaves are just green and they have it in variegation. They are the variegation kings. Everything variegation they'll have. And if they don't have it, they'll find it. <laughs> this is your booth, I want to do a pull back a little bit. And then right next door is Martin. Oh my God, look at this, how beautiful this is, this Oncidium. Uh, Look at the size of this. That's one long spike. <laughs> Martin! ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Todo bien? ¿Eh? Te pela, te diste un buen peladito. <laughs> Siempre estás con, con el pelo bien nítido. Yo como estilista me fijo en todo el, el pelo de todo el mundo. <laughs> I'm telling him that he, he got a really nice haircut. And, and, sí, no, hay que estar fresco. And I always notice people's hair and I said, man, you always have like these tight fades. They're very nice. 
But look, he too has beautiful, beautiful um, greenery here. Look how shiny that this leaf is, guys. And look, he has it growing on one of those uh, sticks. Something like this, $45. This is an excellent price for this, actually, because you're getting you're getting it already mounted. Esto es tremendo precio para esta planta. Sí. Porque ya está estabilizada ahí. You know, when you can see it, esa es la parte más difícil. Sí. It's kind of difficult to get them established on these poles sometimes. It's happened to me. And to get it already like that. Son claras. Sí, sí. To get it already like this. And at this price, he's giving it away. <laughs> Look at these, how beautiful these white Hoyas. Oye, oh, yeah, Está preciosa. Yo tengo esta. Esta me la regaló Sierra Madre. Mm -hmm. Pero no luce nada como esta. Todavía es chiquitica. <laughs> I was telling him that Sierra Madre had given me one of those. It's, it's, it's growing. It's growing very well. But uh, it's nowhere near the size that he has. Look at these. What a great idea is this. PVC pipe. Actually, this you can buy these here at Ophi's. They sell them just like this. And you can buy your Vanda and then hang it like this. Instead of just hanging them um, from the little baskets they come in, you can do more of a mounting. And then all here for you fowl lovers. Oh, mira esta, and variegation. Here's this one variegated. Que linda esta esa hoja. Very nice. More Catlias which by the way, I will be doing a video very soon of my garden update with uh, my Catlias. I wanna show you what I, what I put together. And I think a lot of you are gonna tag along with that idea. Um, it was just something that happened by chance and then it inspired me to go ahead and do um, a cleanup of my Catlias, repotting, uh, spike them so all the leaves are sticking up and I made a shelving so stay tuned for that because that's going to be a really really good episode where you guys are going to pick up a lot of great ideas I was so excited because it was just happening yeah. by osmosis <laughs> and I'm like I can't wait to share this with my viewers I was so excited I want to film right there but I said no Nelson patience <laughs> take care of what you have to take care of first and do the video next week because I also want to show you some things that are in bloom that are just spectacular and then speaking of Sierra Madre Good morning, sir. How are you? it's the gangster of gangster. all orchids <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see more peristeria lata which mine comes directly from Mr. C himself and I gotta tell you my peristeria is Flowering? It's a showpiece. It really is. Wait, I'm, I'm about to film it on my... It has yeah. it has not looked that beautiful ever. The spikes are taller than me. Yeah. And it's hundreds of these buds. Oh and it's God, just yeah. giving me more uh, new shoots and everything. It's just a very, very, very beautiful yeah. plant. So if you guys it. didn't know, this is the national flower of Panama. Panama, right? yeah. Correct. And it smells... To me, it smells like a clean soap. Yeah, yeah. Like a very, very clean soap. But if you guys don't have this, I gotta tell you, this is one to definitely include it, right? Because you don't see these often. Oh yeah, no, no. Right? You see them in the little, little ones. In the little tiny ones, yeah. yeah. You but, never see them this yeah. size. So in you guys, size, barely. Yeah, yeah, you guys are like, I noticed you and, and Vicky both are carrying blooming size. And how much are you selling these for? Those are 150. 150? Yeah. yeah, that's about the, the price that they normally go for mm -hmm. at that size. And that's still a good price. Yeah, the smaller one that I see sold them all yesterday it's like 65 65 yeah i'd rather have this size <laughs> i don't want to wait for that bloom yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are beautiful look at this guys what a pretty flower now if you guys don't know sierra madre sierra madre was one of the first uh, people i actually met when i started my channel here at ofi's and they too were just starting Right? You guys were starting to do the shows about three years ago when I started my channel. Yeah, 2019. Yes. When we opened. Uh, yes. That's when, uh, cause I started right, right when the pandemic was finishing and you guys, I met right here and we talked for a while and look at now, yeah. <laughs> look at all the history we have. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. They have a lot of great stuff. Look at how beautiful. And you know, 
C specializes in species. So if you guys want to look at just species, he sells like so many different kinds. And if he doesn't have it, he will find it. These are gorgeous. I have these. I had gotten these and they were not doing well. And so note to self, to yourself, when these die, don't throw them out. If you repot them or put them somewhere else, they may shoot again because they are kind of like, in Spanish it's called malanga root, which is like a root, almost like a bulb, right? That goes into hibernation and you can bring it back. So don't just throw them out because you may be throwing out a plant that could come back to you. Because when I threw mine in the side of, of my fence, I just threw it there like junk. <laughs> and guess what? I'm now up to three leaves. <laughs> they really like that area. So try just putting it in a different area and you may get better results. Now, these are also species. And this is what's great about these. They're already pre-mounted, guys. You don't have to do anything. And once you see them this rooted, this is established. It's been here probably for about a couple of months, maybe six, seven, eight months to a year, perhaps. That's probably what it would take me to mount something and get this much establishment. What is this? I can't read it. My eyes are so bad right now. <laughs> Come here, Papa. And then these massive bandas, C is also known for that, for selling these crazy, crazy uh, bandas that are just, look at that, look at this. You're not gonna find bandas this big uh, for sale in many places because most vendors won't sell their specimens or their tall, um, tall pieces because they've already aged. So they're worth a lot more, but C is not emotional. He's not attached to them. <laughs> <laughs> He's willing to sell them all. <laughs> I know. I, I'm, I'm surprised they're not here because normally what I see is these massive bandas. This, this banda is named That's the Susi. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That's the uh, Susi Sembrano Sierra Madre. Oh, that's it was beautiful. Registered. When did you guys register it? Uh, recently. I was, that's, that's the first blue. I was literally yeah. just talking about registering orchid names. Yeah. So it's funny that. So that's a cross you guys made? Yeah. It's beautiful. Is it fragrant? It's a fragrance, yeah. It's uh, Denisoniana. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it's, you smell the Denisoniana, yeah. Mary Takahashi. Ah, it's beautiful. Very pretty. I have an Oncidium, I don't remember the name, that your wife gave me about a year ago, and it's yeah. now in bloom, and I forgot about it. It looks exactly the, like the Jaiho Queen. Oh, yeah. The, the, the that looks like orange, the little aliens. The orange one. It's like a hot, like a really bright yellow with yeah. black, and it's like a, it's a beautiful flower. Probably the Jeho Delight or Jeho Orange. Uh, something like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited because the other one I had didn't do well. Yeah, I still, ha I, I still have two of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm super happy. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm gonna film it tomorrow and show it because it's yeah, one of those okay. that. Uh, yeah. Wow! Look at the bulb on this. Yeah. What is that's that? Oh, that's a. Shenum. That's the species. Cymbidium. Um, Grammatophyllum. Yeah. And this is the citrinum, wow. the green one. That's good. Yeah. I have these. I love these. Yeah, they still sell. <laughs> I put them on. I put them on the ground and I let them grow wild. Yeah. All right, my buddy. Okay. I will. You're oh, yeah. welcome. And here is the orchid gang. <laughs> the orchid gang. And there's all that info. I love when people put banners. It takes away so much of the hard work for me. <laughs> <laughs> because that way I don't have to be putting names even though I still put them as part of the the branding cranberry and yellow <laughs> rustic spots rustic spots and it's and that's such a great one because it opens up that like red color and then it, and like, then it transitions turns in to, into that gold with cranberry spots I have this one I have rustic spots <clears throat> crossed with um Mary something I forgot now but it's like cool. that it does that. It opens red and then it turns into that really nice uh -huh. bright orangey yellow. And the yellow seeking yellow yellow bird. Yeller. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? 
Hamlin's magic. That's Another really pretty. Really fast. Hamlin's? Hamlin's magic, yeah. That's really pretty. Oh my god, look at the colors on that Cyclopsis. Yep. And that's actually, that's my photo from one of the those plants that flowered in my greenhouse. Wow. And that flower was like the size of my hand. It was awesome. It's beautiful. Yep. I've had two and both of them have killed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yep. Too much water? Um, because I treat it like my fowls and maybe it's not. A lot of times what, what people do is when they're in the, like this stage right here, this stage right here, you can see how it's just cupped because it's fully enclosed in that sheath. Uh -huh. And if you're, you know, watering a lot or getting a lot of water and it just sits in there, it's going to rot it out. And then the plant that's what happens. They're going to die out. and die and die. And then it just never grows back. I've learned that things that die on me from rotting, then I go the opposite way and it always works. I become very like non caring. Yep. I'll water when I remember and then they do well. Yep. I have a couple I mean, of vandas that don't require a lot of water and they get water when they get splashed in the back yep. and they're doing great. These are in the shady part of the greenhouse or in the shady other greenhouse right now and it's getting watered three times a week. Mm. Okay, so that's so that's a lot less than what I was yeah, watering yeah, yeah, every yeah. day. This is is this what they call the mule ear? That's yep, a mule ear. Um, it's in the trichocentrum. I'm trying family. to remember the name. I can't. Remember. I, I have this. I have a trichocentrum Ollie Palmer. Ollie Palmer. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I have it, but m the color of mine is a little bit different. I guess because they're seedlings. Yeah. But this is a beautiful tone. Mm -hmm. Mine is more towards the cranberry. Gotcha. It's more of a cranberry and yellow. How much are you selling these for? You don't 45. See, you don't see these often. I don't see no, them. No, I've, I've had them for like the last year. That's really pretty. I love, love, love the flower. And a lot of people don't realize that they're fragrant. They are fragrant. They're slightly fragrant. Slight, um, yeah. It's not like a, a huge bam in your face. Like right. Mimi you have to stick, your, like you have that, to stick you know? the, the flower inside your nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it is because I, I smelled mine one time. I go, wait a minute. This has a fragrance to it. Yep. And I also discovered that they were uh, originally Oncidiums. They were in the Oncidium family. And then. Yeah. And they get their, their spots on the leaves, which are normal from Oncidium or now Trichocentrum lancianum. Oh, which okay. Which is one of the parents, and it looks almost very identical to. So that's Lanciatum. what creates the spots. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Learn something new in every booth. <laughs> yeah. But I, I grow them with the Catleas, brighter light, to let them dry out. Yeah, that's water. how I have them. I mounted because, all mine because they didn't like to be in a pot. Yeah, and they will do very well mounted yeah. or very well in a in a six inch pot. Yeah. I put mine in wood mounts, and that's when I saw them finally blooming and taking off because the leaves kept on rotting and rotting. Yep. And I said, you know what? Let me mount them and see if maybe it's too much water. And as soon as I did that, grew. And now the spikes are, the spikes are super long. Yeah, they're like six, seven feet long sometimes. I, the last one I had, when I when it dried, I cut it. I should have taken a picture of it. It was as tall as me. Nice. <laughs> I was like, how could this spike be so long? Nice. More cranberry and yellow. I love these. These are such cool. I've had two of those out of the batch that we brought in, bloom polorically. Mm. And they are so cool. They were, they were really, really nice. I'm trying. Caloric to... would be crazy on this flower, because then that means these flowers will look, these petals would look like this. Yeah. So it'll look probably like a propeller. And there's the model in the back. Hakel, <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful co-pilot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What would you like to say to the Brazilian people out there? Peso, eh, pe brasileiros. Brasileiros. Yes. I would say well, the are I have a lot of Brazilian uh, viewers. Oh, nice. Yes, they do watch my channel and they they write to me in Portuguese, which I love. Oi, pessoal. <laughs> <laughs> Tudo bom aqui? Tudo bem. <laughs> Tudo bem. <laughs> aqui está ótimo. <laughs> muito quente. Muito muito quente, pero pero ótimo. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. She was saying it's very hot, but we're still having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Why do I like cranberry and yellow so much? Just because they're really complementary colors and very contrasty colors too. You know, the other day somebody says, you and your cranberry and yellow. 
And I go, yeah, apparently it's a big thing because when you look at Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King, all of them use cranberry and yellow to their sides. Yeah, <laughs> and they were like, oh, I never thought about that. I'm like, yeah, cranberry and yellow is a very selling color for food. If you want a, a successful restaurant, use yeah. red, yellow, or green. And there it's, yeah, you don't want to use blue ever. <laughs> so that's the caloric flower. Whoa, hold on, let me turn off the light. Wow, yes. That is really cool. I'm sure you kept that. You're not selling. Oh yeah. I would no, never I, sell I kept it. those just to flower them again. Make sure that it's a. Uh, You're gonna not get a, pods. A trait. Um, You're gonna get uh, do uh, pollination. I'll probably send one off because I had two. I'll probably send oh. the better one. I'll probably take it for judging and then send it for merit cloning. Nice. In five years, I want one. Because yep. <laughs> that's four. That's what it's gonna take. How is the one that we did together at the live? It's. It's still in the laboratory. Still, still in the lab? Growing, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Oh, Hopefully, these are beautiful. I, I plan on talking with him here in the next month or so. So when we're ready to show that, we need to do a live. Oh yeah, definitely. No, it'll, we have we'll, to do a live. We'll do a big show, like maybe at Tamiami or something like that. Yes, you know? that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I mean, we did the whole step, and so many people have seen those steps. Yeah. That now to revisit that and show the actual plant would be Absolutely. just mind mind blowing. All right, my friend. I'm trying to speed it up because I have another place to go <laughs> to go to and film. Ciao. Ciao, guys. Ciao. <laughs> now, here are my buddies from Udellas. Here's uh, the new and improved Juan uh, with his long hair. Uh, how are you? <laughs> Your wife ran away, didn't she? <laughs> she anyway, she's not, she's not she's, here. She's in the, the nursery. Uh, it was funny seeing you guys yesterday on the road. Yeah, I like, was like, um, who's beeping? We at was uh, coming like a far away when we saw you guys show up at the promenade. Is that Nelson? Yeah, I was it. meeting Natalia for dinner. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was meeting her at Mario's, the Cuban restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, they, 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 they saw good food in there. Yeah. Juan, did you color coordinate your shirt with your booth? Your shirt matches all these flowers. Yeah, always, you you meant yeah. to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do it because I like a lot of colors. So I like this type of shirt. I love it. It's yeah, actually yeah. a beautiful shirt. Yeah, thank you. It matches perfectly in your in your foreground. These are beautiful. Do these have a name? No, the, they're really pretty. Unfortunately, we don't have the name. Oh because, man, we that's just a, call it Phalaenopsis. <laughs> uh, standards. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm a fan of all the videos. Oh, thank you. And I'm a fan of all my viewers. <laughs> I see you all the time. <laughs> thank you so much. And these I have, you know that I gave up on mine in a pot with these that I got from you? Yeah. And I put it on my mango tree. Oh. Lo and behold, it loves it. It already yeah. gave me spikes, it gave me some, some shoots. That's like I told my other customer, the good plants to put in the tree, to touch in the tree like a fallen up and then draw and they, they take a... You guys have to go to my house and see the, the arachnids that I got from you. One day when you're available, one mm -hmm. afternoon... Mondays are the best busy. for me. Oh yeah? Yeah, okay. Mondays are the best. I'm home Mondays. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's my day of doing everything to my orchids. Oh, okay, just send us an address or maybe like a what with my ex teacher, Mr. Garcia. David. Oh yes, David. Well, David's yeah, yeah. been to my house. Oh yeah? Yes. Oh yeah, no, he's a, yeah. David is awesome. Great guy. Let's coordinate the uh, one Monday to show up with your We'll definitely do that. We'll, we'll have some micheladas and... Yeah. Do you drink michelada? We don't drink michelada, but water we, we drink. Because <laughs> I love michelada. It's my oh, yeah. favorite beer. Yeah, I love it. When I have people over, I have all kinds of beer because we throw parties. and Yeah, for sure. That. And so we have a big cooler in the back, like the stores. And you can just pick whatever drink you want. Water, beer, sodas. <laughs> These are beautiful. Now, if you guys have not met or seen Udeli's, I call them the kings of dendrobium because they always have... So many dendrobiums to show. A lot of my dendrobiums come off. What are you doing? I'm getting wet. I'm taking a shower. <laughs> He's bored. Yeah, he wanna uh, be missing something. <laughs> These are beautiful. These are what they call Miltonia. Um, what's the next name to this? Miltonia something. Se me olvidó ahora. Miltonia Spectabili Very Moreliana. There we go. A mí no se me dan muy bien estas. It's a little bit hard to do. They're, yeah, these here in Miami, they do better upstate Florida. They like the cooler weather. Probably because it's too much humidity right here. My, my area is too hot. You know, some orchids that don't do well in many places do great in my place. But then these do horrible. They melt. 
the leaves actually melt. How pretty these these great little talumias. Yeah, thanks for everything. Every customer like a show up, and like a ten of the customer show. They always say, hey, I shot a video from Nelson. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Oh, like oh that's nice. That's well, that's that's the whole you, purpose, Juan. That's thank why. Thank you for supporting us, the local vendors. So you know, when we work together, we yeah. grow together. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A, that's I always that's say, right that. we work say. together, we grow together. Look at that! How gorgeous! This is what they call the loose neary um, cerulea. Is it? It's a blue. Hold on. Loose Neary, Rinconcile it, Celeste's Blue Lip. That's what it's called. Let me see if I can get that. You know, it's a little worn out. There we go. It's very important you get this name because I got to tell you, I just showed this in my last What's in Bloom. I've had it for years. They grow fast. They get very, very big. And my God, the fragrance on this, you want to eat this. It's like a fragrant cookie. <laughs> It smells so good. And you can get this. Juan, how much are you selling the loose Neary's for? It's 45. 45 bucks. And it's, look, you get two spikes in just one. So get yourself to Udeli's. If you can't make it here to the Ofi's Festival, um, they run this every month. This is a monthly show. They're always here. They're local growers and local vendors. As you can see, more Peristeria Alata. It's a me. Mi, una de mis flores favoritas. Oh, yeah, La flor nacional de Panamá. Yeah. Oh my God. Guys. Look at this. This has Bangkok sunset for sure. There is a name. Oh. Perara Rapipath. <laughs> so pretty. The colors on that are amazing. Now, there was a lot of things that sold out because I heard it, they had a great day yesterday. So there's not a lot that I can show you guys. But um, what I am showing you, I think it's good quality and, and great varieties. Now, here we have my other buddies, my local buddies, J&J. &J, and they are great with Catlias and dendrobium as well. <laughs> My eye is being drawn to this. This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Like I'm looking at every, it's not just one, it has spots, mm -hmm. stripes. Beautiful, I would love to make this into an art piece. You know that you guys inspired me to do this. You're the only people I've seen do that. Yeah. Like to do them to all like yes. that. And so this week, all my, my catlias were like this. Yeah. Every single one I picked it up. You know how much room I saved? Oh, yes, you do <laughs> save a lot of room. Yes. I saved so much room. I was like, oh my God. So I'm, I'm about to show that in my next video. Yeah. I went with every leaf mm -hmm. and cleaned it by hand. Yeah. I cleaned all the canes. I'm like redoing all my catlias. Yeah, because I clean. You see, I clean most of it. All this oh, is, I can tell. You see, I had to clean them because sometimes like uh, when... Um, you have bugs, so the they scales, can go yeah, under, they get under. in there. I'm you glad you're saying that because I say that all the time. I say, guys, these little things here, when they're already like that, like old, mm -hmm. I like to take them out mm -hmm. because what I notice is in the summer, the scales go right in there and you don't see them. Yeah. And then by the Very time small. you notice it, it's too late. And when and it, when it's harder to just get rid of them is when they already start getting under. Yes, and that's and it. And you have to repot yeah. and clean the pan from zero. Yep. I, well, I've been doing it and I'm so happy. So this this is a great, this yeah. really inspired me. So I tell my, my viewers, I'm inspired by the vendors as well, you know, because they come up with ideas that... You have, to, you have to do this. And the reason why you have to do it is because when, when you have the flower coming, you don't want the flower to be facing down. Oh, yes, and exactly. Like, it has to be... That's why I, I started yeah. doing it, because all my flowers do this, they mm -hmm. do. And I was like, when I saw yours, I'm like, wait a minute, how are there, there are things so, and when I got up close, I go, oh, they put spikes on each cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, why yeah. did I think of that? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the yellow on this, guys. How beautiful is that? This is a, 
Golden Glory Apollo. I wonder what SM told us. That's the first time I see that actually. Now watch it be something very common. <laughs> these are really pretty. I have these. Dancing ladies, yellow dancing ladies. You can never go wrong with this. This is this is like the gateway to buying more different types of orchids. When I was with my fowl, you know, just standard Philanopsis, then I graduated to Oncidiums, and then that's what started making me feel very um what's the word I'm looking for? It's so hot, I'm starting to forget confident about my orchid growing. It's pretty banda. And see, they have them on these things, I guess. What, what happens at these fairs, guys, by the way, is all these vendors, we're, they're all friends. Everybody here is friends. We all hang out. We go to each other's home. We go out to dinners, you know. It's a big family. It really is. It's not just, we don't just do this in front of the camera to, you know, kind of look like we're do, we're really this way. But we honestly are. We're a big, happy family. We all help each other. Of course, there's always competition, but it's always friendly competition, okay? I always say competition is good. It's not bad. It's when you become aggressive about it that becomes bad. You know how they say the love, the love of money is the root of all evil? Well, it's the love of money, not money itself. <laughs> money is not the root of all evil. It's the love of it. So that's what I say about competition. Competing, um, friendly competition is always good. It keeps you on your toes. It, it makes you want to do better and improve on your things. But when you become aggressive and you step on other people's toes like this man here, <laughs> Chris, he's the owner of Ophi's. Um, then it's not nice, you know? If you don't play nice, then don't play at all. <laughs> now here we are at the last booth, Vicky. Vicky has, has been around, um, not for long, but I will tell you, she is a superstar at these shows. What she brings, what she uh, presents, and I love that she always uses, she started using the black uh, things before I saw a lot of people using them. And she got her, you know, she started getting uniforms and a staff when she goes to the shows. And I'm like, wow, Vicky, you're really like stepping it up. So she's very proud of her business and she wants the best, you know, to put her best foot out there. Look how beautiful these white cadmiums are. How gorgeous is that? Why not? That's what this is called, a why not. These are really big why nots. Are these why nots? Is that a why not? Schumburg, Schumburg Catonia, Catania, Phila. Wow, this is glory. Juno Beach, blah, blah, blah. why not? Oh, it does have why not in it. With Schumburgia. So this is a Schumburgia with why not flower. Tre sí, pero tremenda cruz, porque es la misma flor, pero con una planta más fuerte. Y más chiquita la espiga, ¿se ve? Ah, sí. El why not le echa más. Sí, Ay, es verdad. Ah. Me encanta. Me gusta esta más que el, el sí, why not regular. Más corta la barra. Más corta, sí. Ah. Y mucho más flores. Oh, y dura bastante. Eso... Y mis colores. Cranberry and yellow. <laughs> Ella ya tiene... Tan preciosa, preciosa. Fíjate que la miré y dije, esto es muy buena, pero ¿por qué está tan grande? <laughs> and this is... Esto, esta se llama Luis Fuchs. Esta flor, ¿tú lo tienes aquí? Yo te puedo dar el nombre. Sí, I'll give you the name. I have it. This is Luis Fuchs from um, RF Orchids. El dueño de RF. His grandmother, his name Luis Fuchs. This is, this is a cross. No, no, yo te lo doy. I'll give her the name. She says, I lost the tag. I go, don't worry. I actually know this one. <laughs> and it smells so good. Oh, it smells delicious. Look at this. that, guys. Is my light on? Yeah. Very beautiful. I got to hurry up because I have Natalia waiting for me. And I don't want to make this video way too, too long. I'll probably do a part two. I think it'll be better if I do a part two from this. So guys, stay tuned. Once I'm done with this video, I am gonna go straight to RF and I'll be most likely filming over there with Natalia 
and I'll make it a part two. That way I don't feel rushed. These are really, really pretty. Because down here at these Ofi shows, under an hour, um, it's almost impossible to do this show under an hour and show you all the flowers they have. I mean, I could show you a couple and make it a 30 minute one. But a lot of you have complained to me when I make them short. They're like, please don't do them so short. I was just getting into it and you finished it. <laughs> so the shows will always be an hour long. And it's an hour long because you guys have requested. Because I, I, when I started, I only did 30 minutes. And you guys started telling me more and more, please, please, one hour. I want to see more. <laughs> and I get it. When I watch YouTube videos of shows, I don't want them to be short. Look at that, how gorgeous. How pretty is that? Look at this. This Hoya. How pretty. Look how many it has. Goodbye. <laughs> so is this one. Oh, wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow, that is something else. I bet you it smells good too. But that Hoya is, oh, there's one here. Let me see what they smell like. These are probably Rincon Stylus species. I may take one of these. I don't think I have one of these. They're 85 and they're already pre-mounted and everything. Wow. I don't know the name though. Oh, it's a Huratusa. Maybe I already have one. Yo creo que tengo... No me acuerdo si... Ya yo no me acuerdo ni lo que tengo. ¿Te acuerdas si la tienes? No, eh, yo tengo algo parecido. Aquí tiene su, su nombre. Let me ver. Mira. I do have something very similar. Oh, it's hard to read. Está un poquito difícil de leer. Oh, here we go. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Great, it's not meant for that, me to that, give this that, name. That helps you, right? Well, I'm gonna, I can't even see it, so I'm just gonna let that one go. I'll, I'll figure it out on, on Google. Is it Retusa? R -R -E Retusa, yeah, R, I think it's R E T U S A. Okay. Retusa. I don't know if it, in Spanish it's Retusa. In, in English it may be Retusa. This is, this is beautiful, by the way. Look at that. It's already mounted on a piece of wood for 110 bucks. And look at those flowers. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. And this again is Vicky's wonderful booth. We'll be saying, but oh, let me see this. This is really pretty. I didn't see this one. Hi, beautifuls. Ooh, I hear the rain. All right, let's go follow Chris. Let's go inside Ophi's. I want to show you guys the Ophi's Orchid and Supply for the newbies. I know a lot of you guys have seen this. A lot of you guys have been here. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect timing. It's starting to rain and I'm indoors. So what I like to do when I'm in here, I like to show you what I use and um, the products that I use and how I mix them and uh, together and all that. Here, you'll, you'll as soon as you come in, you'll see all the different potteries they have. They have really, really good pottery here very very good prices i mean it's all terracotta a lot of you'll be like it's terracotta you can find them anywhere i know but they're specifically made for orchids you get them with the little catlia cuts that's what i call these you can get these which i even use for my um gigantia philonopsis and that's how i hang them these are hanging pots they have plenty of cork mounts these are amazing. I love, love, love these. These are great. You can hang any pots on here. I think, let me see. So you hang these like that. I'm not gonna squeeze it in now, but you hang them with your plants in there and you can have different, um, or a variety of different orchids to showcase like in a tower. And it looks really pretty and organized. Here we have the other alternative pots, like the designer ones, the plastic ones, which we all use when we want to do seedlings or 
just transfer things. These are great if you're using them in an area that don't they don't get wet all always because I made the mistake of leaving it outdoors and the rain here rots them. It's just way too much water to use wood baskets and leave them outdoors. Now this is my favorite area. This is what I call the orchid supermarket and the orchid pharmacy because you have your medicines for your plants and you have your food and then your medium and everything that you need to do repotting. So when I do um, fungicide, I've been using a thing called ban rot. Okay, let me see if they have, because they normally run out. It's so, so good, <laughs> they sell out. But this is also a very good one uh, if you want to spray fungicide, T-methyl. Everything I'm showing you right now, you should wear uh, protective gear. Don't be spraying this stuff without it. I just bought this. I used it. Guys, it's pretty good. It's very, very strong, but it eradicates everything. There's no, no, um, I use it twice. It, there's no pest or insects whatsoever in my, um, my orchids. And I, I had a pretty bad case of, of scales. Now this here, I have not used it, but I heard it's really, really good. It's a, it's a metacide and insecticide. So metacide and insecticide means that it kills both um, spider types of insects and other types of insects. Because spider mites, if you don't have um, a metacide, it's not, the insecticide won't do a thing to it. So if you have spider mites, you will want to go with this instead of just a regular pesticide like Permatrol. Which Permatrol is good as a preventative but I wouldn't advise it to be used like for heavy use, like when you have an infestation for that, then I would tell you to use something like um, Centrifire or Orthene. Orthene is really, really strong, very stinky. So please wear protective gear from head to toe. Let's move on to the supermarket. This is where we supply our beautiful little flower creatures with strong vitamins. Now, this is like if you were giving your plants uh, steroids, okay? This will make your plants get massively strong and big. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna overdose. I usually put like a quarter of a teaspoon into a gallon. I don't use much because I do use it in combination with, let me bring it all together so you guys can see it. Because I know a lot of you, when I did this last time, I didn't realize how many of you were newbies and you were, oh my God, that was so useful. Thank you so much, because I got to see exactly visually what you're using and the product. So I'm gonna do this every time I come here because there's always new people. Um, and it wouldn't be fair on them to miss out on the feeding regimen that I use because it's, it's, very, um, it's very effective. And if you guys wanna, if you haven't seen my what's in bloom, the proof is in the pudding. I'm missing my cow mag. Calcium magnesium. Yeah, he's all out of calcium mag. So anyway, here's what we're gonna do. I'll put it in there as an insect. <laughs> all right, I use these four, well, I'll put it here. I'll put a picture of it there. I use these four products and I use them all together. Now, I always do once a month now, I've been doing once a month, I'm not doing weekly. I do once a month, I do one teaspoon to a gallon of liquid seaweed. I do one teaspoon of 20-20-20 to a gallon. I do um, a quarter teaspoon um, of this to a gallon. And then the cow mag, I do um, a full teaspoon, right? Some people do two teaspoons. I rather just do one teaspoon. It's overkill sometimes. So that's what I've been using and it's working great. So those are the four products, my, my magical four products that have been working. It's not etched in stone. I'm sure that as new things come out, I will be alternating or adding. But at least you have a basic idea of what I put together to feed my wonderful plant babies. And I use this. These are great. If you guys have a garden and you have a set of uh, hose that you can connect this to, this is one of the best things they've invented. You fill, okay, here are the gallons, right? For my European friends, I think they have liter back here somewhere. 
fluid ounce or ounces here. So you can do ounces. So um, here is where your gallons are. So let's say if you're gonna do um, 10 gallons, right? You're gonna do 10 gallons of food. You, you calculate how much food you need to put in 10 gallons. So you put in here. So if, if you use one teaspoon to 20, 20, 20, you're gonna put 10 teaspoons in here. Once you have everything in there, you're gonna, you're gonna put water in there all the way to 10, right? You wanna make sure that you mix and then mix it really well. Make sure those salts are very diluted. That is extremely important because you don't wanna clog the little straw that's inside that pulls all that up, right? The pressure, uh, the suction pressure of the hose will pull the stuff up, but you don't want it to be solids because that's how small that hole is. It's like a straw and you don't want it to clog. And then when it comes out through this little thing here you know it could clog it too so fill it to 10 right if you're doing 10 gallons if you're doing 15 you fill it to 15 and so on and then just spray away and you could gauge the pressure here you can close it or gauge the pressure that's it that is my my regimen of feeding and we're for 54 minutes into okay. this perfect timing we're already Finito. I don't see any, you know, they don't have a lot of, normally they have orchids to sell as well. That's what it's called, <laughs> Oki's Orchids in Supply. But, um, what is this? Get the dirt on composting? Oh, they're talking, I guess they're doing a composting, um, composting, um, tutorial. Them. Pretty. That poor flower's on its way out. All right, guys, I think I'm going to close it up here. It is time. You know, I'm going to close it up where um, I closed it up with Terry last time. It's a very comfortable bench. See? Your little bench here. Right. Let's turn this puppy around. All right, guys. That is it. That is the end of today's beautiful show. It was very relaxing. Um, normally, when I have all my buddies here, we're a little cray-cray. So I get a little bit, like, distracted. But today, it felt like I was just flowing through, just looking at the flowers, enjoying the moment. And, um, and in no time it's over, you know, when you're having fun, it just ends up really, really fast. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Please be on the lookout for the following video I'm gonna do now at RF with Natalia. God knows how that's gonna be. We know she's, she's a little spicy, that girl. <laughs> she gets me started, <laughs> but I love hanging out with her. And I, she came down yesterday, we had dinner, and she says, let's go to RF, I go, I'll meet you there tomorrow after Opie. So she's right there now. And the next episode after that will be a sort of garden update and um, greenhouse update. Because I did do several things as I was telling you with my Catlias. I do want to show you that, that this new thing I discovered. Very simple thing, but it was it's pretty cool. And I want to show you how I set up my new Catlias. They look really, really good. I already gave you some clues when I was talking to Juana over at J&J's. So anyways, guys, until next time, I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Now. And remember to always, always keep it green. See you next time. And thank you so much for sticking around this long. Bye-bye. <laughs>